I'm pretty sure you know about the iOS 14 video minimizing feature called picture in picture and you have an idea how it works but it's a little bit more complicated than that so here is everything you need to know. Let's begin. Starting with YouTube, the most popular way or popular app where you would like to use it. Of course, when you have the YouTube app downloaded, there is no way to actually minimize the video. If you would go to Safari or any other web browser, there you can see the the icon which allows you to minimize the video and have it floating on your home screen but if you click on it it only does it for a fraction of a second and then it comes back to its original state so it technically does not work which is understandable they want you to pay for this kind of stuff with youtube premium but even if you are a subscriber of youtube premium you still can't do it i don't know why but you just can't if you have the YouTube app downloaded and are a member of the YouTube Premium, then you can actually leave the app and keep on listening to the video, but you're just not able to watch it while doing something else. Which is a shame, of course, now that this feature is available, I think many people would gladly use it. So the way it works is that the iOS 14 got support overall, but individual apps and developers have to implement it into their apps in order for you to actually use it. By the way, guys, I make videos like these all the time relating Apple and this kind of stuff. So if you are interested, just subscribe and let's continue with the video. I do not think that I have to explain this, but depending on the dimensions of the video, it looks like this floating on the home screen and it just cannot stay in the middle. It has to be somewhere around the edges and you can move it around and make it larger and smaller. And there you also have a couple of controls so you can skip forward and backwards 15 seconds and you can actually click on the X to make it close, but this is kind of basic. At first, I thought that Google is kind of against this feature because even if you go to the Google Drive using the web browser and open up your own video, then you still can't really make it work. You can make the video float around, but then you realize that you can actually use the original app, the one that you should be using from Google, the Google Drive app, and there you have the option to minimize the video. But you'd still be surprised how many things could be better with this feature in iOS 14. Just let me show you what happens when you go to the photos. Like many people have like long videos stored in uh, their camera roll, like including me. If you have like two hours video downloaded on it there, you just can't really actually exit the app and make it go on. And that is kind of annoying. Like, of course, I know that gallery isn't the place for movies or anything like that, but it would be nice for, for you to have it, I guess. Then we have the Files app. Again, you are working and looking at your own videos. It's not like something copyrighted from the internet. I mean, of course, it depends what you download, but it's already in your files. That means that it should belong to you. And in the official Files app from Apple, you still can't do that. Like you don't have the option to minimize the video. You can play it, you can do this kind of stuff, which you can see on the screen right now, but you're not able to leave the app and make the video go on. So one tip I would have for you is to use like a third party app, for example, Documents 5. This app is great and it allows you to play a video uh, when you actually leave the app. So the picture in picture mode actually works. And one more tip, if you're looking for a third party app, if you're not satisfied with this one, usually in the app description or app updates section in the app store, the developers usually include it as a new change that they support the new picture in picture mode. So there you can check it out before you download the app or before you decide to use that specific one. Okay, but besides that, there isn't much to talk about. There are some apps I've mentioned and there are many other apps which support it as well as those that do not support it. So you have to try it out and on your own to know. But ultimately, these are the most popular ones. And YouTube, most importantly, with the premium the subscription, I think everyone should be able to download and minimize the videos. So it's like a common sense. But now I want to say thank 
thanks a lot for watching and your support. I really do appreciate it. And I would also be glad if you clicked on the like button. That would really make my day. And if you enjoyed it, stay tuned for more content in the future and see you guys later in the next one.